Hi everyone, Eric at Austin Custom Brass, and in my hand I have the Shires Q30YR. So that's yellow brass with the rotary valve. Shires is a legendary trombone brass maker. I don't think they need any introduction, but I'm going to talk about this horn and what I really like about it. So first I'm going to talk about how easy it is to hold, how comfortable it is. Maybe you thought I was going to talk about sound first, but we can't make a good sound if we're fighting our body, and this horn will not make you fight your body. So, I may have talked about this in some other videos that you've seen. I've talked about my hands. They're not incredibly large. You know, I can't palm a basketball or anything like that. So for me, I really like how comfortable this horn is. So I like to wrap my finger around the mouthpiece. I'm sure I saw that in a picture of J.J. Johnson somewhere and decided, yeah, I should do that. So I do. Um, but what I really like is I can get my finger around it. My thumb is in an excellent position to hold, uh, to hold the trigger and I can get my hands around here when my palm is comfortable against the brace. All this feels incredibly comfortable, very balanced. I'm not tense, I'm not leaning, I'm not twisting in. So I very much appreciate that about a horn for myself and as a teacher for my students. I actually had a student come in the other day um, and try this horn along with a few others, a 10th grader. And what he experienced was why I just uh, just described. So he picked up a few other horns that had the much wider brace and he was having a very hard time. First thing he did was he started leaning and kind of digging in a little bit and affected his sound very dramatically. So being able to pick up a horn like this was incredibly beneficial for him because as a young musician not only is he developing musically he's still developing physically. So it's something that I think is going to be a great advantage to a player who's looking for a horn that is a high quality, a professional level horn that they can take with them for the next 10, 15 years of their life, 20 years of their life or more, but they know that they're going to have to grow in to their body and they need a horn that suits them now, but it's also going to suit them in the future. So the Q30, the YR definitely fits that bill. One of the other things that I really like about this horn is the trigger. It's very easy, free, but it has a nice short compact throw and that's really important uh, because it allows me to get to those notes in the trigger register very quickly uh, and access them without delaying or um, causing kind of that flip, that, that flip that sometimes happens because I'm to the note, my slide's to the note, my trigger isn't quite to the note yet. So I really like that feature about this horn. It's also aesthetically, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see this, but Hopefully you can, I'll bring it up to the camera. It has a wonderful engraving, it's a beautiful horn. super easy to play. At no point did I really feel that in any way, shape, or form the horn was doing anything but just reacting to what I told it to do. It was just straight from my air to the horn to the sound. I did not feel any sort of hindrance, hiccups, potholes, road bumps, whatever you want to call them. It just was super easy to access and play um, and I just had to focus on the music. I didn't think about the horn, I just thought about trying to play the music. So again, for a player, that's really important. For a student, that's super important because a student's gonna have enough sort of obstacles on their own as they're developing. Why have an instrument that contributes to that 
you know, if you're a teacher and you're looking for an instrument to recommend, I think the Q series would be a great instrument. So I'm going to do a little extra playing and then close out. If you have any questions, please give us a call, 816-410-0826. Uh, we can also be reached by email, info at austincustombrass.com, and of course our website, austincustombrass.biz. Uh.